Let's open a simple existing two-dimensional model. And display the applied loads by clicking the Loads button on the side toolbar. We can change the scale of the load diagram by holding down the L key while rotating the mouse scroll wheel. If we turn on the node restraints, you can see what the support conditions are. Similarly, turning on member fixities shows us which members have hinges, springs, or sliding joints at their ends. Let's make a couple of changes graphically. Perform a linear static analysis. And then have a look at the deflected shape for load case 10 by selecting it from the load cases selection box on the top toolbar. We will then click the displacements button on the side toolbar and change the scale of the deflected shape by holding down the D key while rotating the mouse scroll wheel. Alternatively, we can click the Scales button on the top toolbar and then set an exact displacement scale. Labeling can be controlled using the Labeling and Annotation button on the side toolbar. We can use it to show node numbers, member numbers, plate numbers, and the like. We can also display units and set the numeric formatting. In this case, let's just turn on the annotation for the deflection diagram. Now let's turn off deflections and switch to a Bending Moment Diagram by clicking the Bending Moments button on the side toolbar. Similarly, we could show Shear Force Diagrams, Axial Force Diagrams, Torsions, Stresses, Reactions, and so forth. We can show other load cases by selecting them from the top toolbar or by scrolling through them using the page up and down keys on the keyboard. The load cases selection box also lets us show multiple load cases together by typing them into a list or by choosing them directly from the selection box. With multiple load cases displayed, things can look a bit congested, and it is often convenient to show an envelope of minimums and maximums. We can do this by clicking the Envelope button on the side toolbar. It is also possible to get a tabulated display of the analysis results by simply clicking on a node, member, or plate, clicking the right mouse button to bring up a menu of options, and then selecting Analysis Results. We can then click on any other node, member, or plate in the model to show its analysis results.
Finally, we can get a fully detailed report by clicking the Output button on the top toolbar selecting the items that we wanted included or excluded, and then generating the report. We can scroll to the desired location in the report, or go to an exact spot by using the navigation menu on the side. In the next videos, we will conduct steel member and connection designs.